Hello and welcome, dearest Sam Grandma Mimsy. And I've been, uh, uh, words are hard. <laughs> um, this was a nail buffer that arrived in a three pack that was part of one of our gifts for the monthly subscription recently. Um, I want to say it was May or June was the box that it came in for that month, but I, I can't be positive. And I have seen a couple of people have said they really didn't like it, that they didn't think it worked really well, or um, I don't know, maybe people just didn't know what it was or how to use it. And essentially, this is the finest, um, well, I'm gonna re start over. Uh, when you get different versions of nail files or nail buffers, uh, think of sandpaper and grit, because essentially that's what it is. And uh, like different courses of sandpaper where you can get ones that are very fine, that don't, um, they don't take off much, they're more for a buffing and just kind of getting off the, the fine filter flyaways of things. And then you have the stuff that sands, like, really sands everything off. You're starting at the beginning process and you just want to take down as many layers as you possibly can. This is the one that takes off just a little bit, like hardly anything. You really can't even call it a nail file. And mostly it's just to be able to take off the edge. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see on this but we'll try and get something close enough that on mine, I do have lines and ridges and grooves in the way that they grow. And if you can tell, I'm gonna kind of come in here. In this part where I last did it is where going down, you can tell. And there's a bit of a shine and a sheen and it's uh, more buff and less ridging. Whereas this little tiny spot where it's grown in since the last time I did is more of the natural nail. This is all my natural nail, but the buffer takes off and uh, I wasn't sure I was going to like this until after I got it and played with it. And I, I really do recommend this because, um, and we'll see if we can get in there. We'll just do this one side right here, just the top. And you kind of just do a little bit of the buffing. And you can see there's not as much shine compared to, I mean, not as much edging. It takes off just a little bit. Now, you come in with the other side and do the buff. And you can see the old part right here versus the new part looks less ridgy and has more shine versus. And so in my opinion, the base coat and everything else that goes on top after using this, it lays better. Uh, I have less spots where it doesn't lay cleanly on the nail. Uh, I do highly recommend that you just do, like I said, a little quick over the top, switch it over, do the buffing, and it takes just a few seconds before you put down your base coat and everything else. These are on all natural um, as a uh, there's a, a YouTuber, her name is Gailleen, and um, she recently did an update on um, the peel nail polish that Maniology has, and she said a comment that uh, these are my naked nails, and she said, how do you know that I'm not naked? And I just thought that was funny. I don't know, some might not appreciate the humor, I thought it was hysterical. Um, trying to 
think of my words here. We will not confirm nor deny whether or not we are naked. <laughs> but my nails are. Um, so yeah, we were doing a, a changeover of the pumpkin and glitter that we had previously had on. And I have been wanting to do this for a while. I just never got to a point where I had naked nails to show you. Um, I'm sorry. Just trying not to laugh at that. Oh, uh, that I had naked, all naked nails enough previously at, at a moment where I could film and show you how to use this uh, and whether I recommend it. And like I said, I didn't really think much when they unveiled it and showed us that it was going to be in the box because they really didn't talk about it. I mean, they did show it and they showed the item and told us what it did, but they didn't show what it did. If that makes sense. So I hope that helps. Like I said, I love the way that, and I'll, I'll kind of do a really quick here just across the top of all of them to show you. And no, you should not seesaw on the edges. And yeah, I'm just kind of doing that really quick for demonstration purposes. But this is just bare nail that you just saw me what they were like. And you just saw me doing this directly. And you see how it brings out more of a shine, more of a smooth surface, a really, um, if you got to get those ridge fillers and all those other things going on to make your polish look pretty, and even if you don't, um, like I said, it makes everything just smooth like glass. And I think it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And there you are. So I have seen since I started using these because again, I don't remember what box they came in, but uh, I had trimmed off everything and was just keeping them going a uh, bare bones minimum because of the move. And then after we got here, uh, I want to say that was June 1st that we moved in to the new property location and then it was about two weeks later so mid June where we got this unit uh, because it wasn't ready yet and so at that point beginning June 1st I was just uh, filing and painting as best I could to uh, keep them you know, going. And so this growth is just since June 1. Trying to keep everything all fancy and pretty. And so, yeah, they're kind of crooked in how they grew out. And so it's just a matter of me trying to tame the wildness of the nails till they get to a point where I can make them all be the same shape. It takes a little bit. So, uh, June, July, August, mid-September, so about three and a half months. And in a, another couple of months, they'll be all hopefully where they used to be, and yay. But until then, we work with what we've got. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this helped and that you, uh, I'm not sure what, <laughs> it's been a long day already. Um, getting up at four makes things a long day and it's lunchtime barely noon and the pampered princess has been been a difficult chihuahua having having an attitude today i don't know what it is usually she's fairly quiet but today she just has decided to voice her opinion i don't know what she she's the most pampered pooch you could imagine 
and yet ah, I don't speak pooch so anyway have a wonderful day please be kind uh, thank you for helping me along my nail art journey uh, I appreciate all my subscribers and followers and commenters along the way thank you very much and we will see you on the next one bye